Good afternoon all and welcome to another presentation uh, brought to you by connectvk.com.au. In today's presentation, uh, we're going to be guiding you on how to use um, your nano VNA to determine the velocity factor of, um, let's say, unknown piece of coaxial cable. We're not going to be doing the deep dive into the theory and explaining the formulas. Like I said, a practical solution on uh, how to determine the velocity factor. And uh, we'll also um, have a quick uh, look at the TDR function. Please note that uh, as we're going to be using both ports, being S11 and S21, the full calibration process will need to be completed in order to uh, get accurate results. All right, so uh, let's connect uh, our cable to Nano VNA and um, have a look at that graph. Main graph we're going to be looking at is the, the one on the bottom right. That one displays a phase angle. The reason why we need to uh, have a look at this one is we need to determine the, the frequency range where the phase completes the full 360 degrees. So if you have a look at the red uh, marker there, Sweeping um, 100 to 200 megahertz, I could be doing this over the wider range, but um, it will be harder to see the uh, phase angle curves. So this is uh, easier to uh, display on a graph, or to read it from a graph, should I say. All right, so if you have a look at the red marker and the green marker, you'll see that the, uh, the red marker is uh, on uh, 106.1 megahertz and the green marker is on 177.5 megahertz. What that means is that uh, for every 71.4 megahertz, we get the full 360 degrees in uh, phase angle changes. Now the formula is very simple, so it's 300 divided by, the, by that frequency range. And what is that gonna give us? That's gonna give us the electrical length of the cable. So in our instance, we got 300 divided by 71.4, and that equates to 4.2 meters, which is uh, our electrical length of the uh, sample cable. Now, the velocity factor is calculated by dividing the physical length um, by the electrical length. So in this instance, we got 3.6 divided by 4.2, and that is 0. 857 something so rounded up I would say there will be 85% um, um, or 0 0.85 my cable I've measured it prior to uh, soldering uh, PL259 connectors and the length of it was uh, 3.6 uh, 3.55 meters however taking into consideration the two PL259 connectors that were soldered uh, after the measurement I'll probably say 3.6 meters. So our calculation uh, revealed that the velocity factor of this cable is uh, 85%. And let's uh, check that. Okay, so the cable is in fact uh, made by uh, Benelec and it's uh, LL400. And there you go, the data sheet displays that the velocity factor is in fact um, 85%. I'm pretty happy with that um, calculation, that's uh, spot on. And that will be it for the uh, velocity factor calculation. And now we're going to have a look at the TDR. Well, I guess uh, TDR function uh, will uh, allow us to cross-reference or cross-check my measurement of the cable. So I did say 3.6 is what I have measured. And um, so we'll see um, what's uh, um, a TDR going to uh, display for this cable. Uh, now, please remember that uh, in order to use the DDR function, you can't have both of those uh, ends of the coax connected to the nano VNA. Uh, only S11 port uh, we need to be collect connected and the other end left open. So, which is what I've done here and hence the uh, incorrect results. But uh, once you connect um, only one um, side of it to the, to the S11 port, you'll get the results which is uh, 3.79 I'm pretty sure I'm reading here and um, that is pretty good um, well close enough I would say 3.6 is what I've measured and 3.79 is what I've got from the um, TDR function of the nano VNA 
So there you go. I hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. So if you have any questions, suggestions or comments, please uh, do let us know. Once again, thank you and all the very best until the next time. 73s.